I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Thursday, the 23rd day of September. We're getting excited about a pattern change that will bring rain and cooler air to Alabama next week. Uh, good stuff. Tropics getting active, too, around here. Let's go right to the Skycam shots. A lot to talk about. Full moon over Tuscaloosa. A thing out there shining brightly. Full moon on the equinox. This is the first full day of fall. There's the Inverness sky cam down below traffic on Highway 280. And the uh, Birmingham sky cam looking north from the Daniel Building. Now, still got ridging. Understand now, we're still going to be hot today and tomorrow. And really, Saturday will be up there close to 90. So understand the next three days, not a lot of change. But beyond that, yeah. Uh, the weather will change next week. And look at the cold air. I, yeah, we're, we're hot. We know that. We're the, we're the bullseye. Hottest place in the nation yesterday, right here across the deep south. But look at the cool air up north. These are highs yesterday. And for some folks up on the Canadian border, never got out of the mid-40s. Goodness gracious, that's fantastic. So uh, sooner or later, the uh, dam will break, and that stuff's going to get down in here. Uh, today, there's a slight risk of severe weather near that polar boundary up north from uh, near Topeka, Kansas, up to Milwaukee. And I like that for a parched Alabama. That looks good. Rain for the next five days, suggesting two and a half inches near Huntsville, two inches for Birmingham. This is valid through Monday evening at 7 o'clock. And the real increase in rain should start on Sunday, although understand there'll be these little isolated showers around the next couple of days. But, uh, again, that's not going to help us all that much in the short term. Tropical weather. Lisa, out there in the East Atlantic, has been downgraded to a tropical depression. And our wave in the Caribbean chugs along. So far, no sign of any organization, but we believe that will be Tropical Storm Matthew at some point soon. Uh, Lisa, just not in a hurry. Moving northwest and uh, should uh, become a tropical storm, then weaken again. Now, bottom line is that's not going to be a headline storm. This one could be, although it's just disorganized right now. You can see all of the unsettled conditions across the Caribbean. And again, the, the caution is that water through the Yucatan Channel in the Gulf is just totally untouched. It is so warm down there. Check the buoy reports there. They're pretty amazing. And there's the track on uh, this potential Matthew. And you can see most all the models now are in very good agreement. Move it across the uh, coast of Central America and then a sharp turn to the right. And uh, that will open the door for this thing to come up through the Yucatan Channel or across the tip of Cuba. And uh, from there, who knows, but the southeast United States is definitely in play next week. Uh, the intensity models, one of them ramps it up to a Category 4 before it weakens with the interaction with land. Um, a number of them uh, maintain a tropical storm throughout the life cycle, uh, uh, but again, we'll see. Let's get this thing on the board, and then we'll worry about the intensity. Our worry is once it gets up uh, w without the interaction with land coming up toward uh, the southeastern Gulf. Let's check the latest GFS that I have. This is the OZ run, uh, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. This is at 500 millibars. And again, ridging is the story, and today will be a lot like the last three days. Uh, low 90s, a few little isolated storms out there, and you know those can pack a punch. One blew down a tree in my yard yesterday here in uh, North Shelby County. Uh, deep surface low is uh, located uh, north of Omaha. Tomorrow, the surface low moves up to the UP of Michigan. There's a trailing front down through St. Louis, down to uh, Lubbock, Texas. and But around here, same thing tomorrow. Low 90s, isolated afternoon showers and storms. So for the high school football games, there could be a shower for a few stadiums. Most stadiums should not get wet. All right, Saturday starting off the weekend. The front is uh, down to near Huntsville and below Little Rock. That bodes pretty well for the Alabama-Arkansas game. They should be in cooler and drier air up in uh, uh, Fayetteville with temperatures in the upper 70s up there. That'll be great. But for the Auburn game against South Carolina, they'll be in the soupy air, so there could be a shower or storm there. But again, the, the activity Saturday will be scattered. All right, Sunday, here comes your bowling ball. It's going to close off into an upper low. The Vortmax is near uh, Branson, Missouri. 
And down below that, we should begin to see an increase in rain activity on Sunday. Now, this run of the GFS tries to bring some drier air down into the uh, northwest third of the state. Uh, not sure, so sure that's going to happen. For now, we're going to mention a good chance of showers and storms on Sunday. And then Monday, the upper low sets up near Little Rock, and that should be a pretty wet day here. Uh, showers and thunderstorms should be likely on Monday. That's great news. The other great news, the weather should be cooler because of clouds and rain. Uh, in fact, the GFS for Monday is showing a high of 79. Yeah. Tuesday, the upper low just drifts slowly east. It's near Tupelo. And again, that would be a relatively wet day. Maybe the uh, western part of the state tries to dry a little bit, but even there, if it does, there should be afternoon showers because of the very cold air loft with that thing. And then Wednesday, we still stay in a moisture axis. So again, Sunday through Wednesday looking to be a relatively wet period. And you see the GFS brings up that broad tropical low over the uh, western tip of Cuba. That would be Matthew. And then Thursday, boom, that thing moves right up. This time, instead of uh, on the uh, Atlantic side, kind of moves up through the uh, western coast of Florida. And the GFS uh, a week from today has a tropical storm inland, really around Tallahassee, Florida. And uh, we stay kind of wet. We'll check the uh, European at the same time. This is uh, a week from today, and it's got a broad surface low, this time farther south. And all these models are going to look different every time we see them. I mean, but understand we're getting within seven days now. We're starting to make the transition out of voodoo land into a, a time where you could make a forecast. I think it's very reasonable to say that a tropical system will be impacting the Florida Peninsula in a week. Now, beyond that, whether it's going to go up the Atlantic coast or maybe be farther west, we just don't know that yet. That's pure speculation. Uh, back to the GFS, we'll take a look at uh, Friday, the 1st of October. The uh, surface low is inland over Georgia. But again, I'll just guarantee you that the next run we see will look different Go to uh, Saturday, October 2nd, kind of dissipates, and uh, it's gone. 6th of October, into the forecast. By golly, or not almost the end of the forecast. Look what's down there, another tropical storm in the Gulf. Makes you wonder if this might be an October to remember for the tropics down there. On the 7th, instead of coming north, it's drifting west, and on the 8th, it just sits down there, going nowhere. Another tropical low east of the Bahamas, and maybe a third one down there in the Caribbean. Are you kidding me? So after a season that's featured a lot of storms in the Atlantic, it looks like uh, you're going to have a lot of backyard mischief here in coming weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.